Hello everybody, my name is Priyanka and uh, today I'll be cooking our family's favorite and that's a vegetarian pulao. So that's a rice dish with vegetables. Um, I'm just going to start cooking as I talk about the dish that I'm going to make. It's our family favorite and the reason for that is the kids really like this dish. This dish goes really well along with yogurt, lentils, chicken dishes or anything else or just as it is just with yogurt or by itself. Um, here I am just going to use some oil so that we can cook our, cook our spices in it. Um, the spices that I have been using, so first you're going to use, first you're going to add uh, jeera to the oil. Um, that's basically, all these spices basically give fragrance but also have nutrition value to it as well. I'm going to add some black cloves, uh, just a few of them, um, say about four. Um, I'm also going to add, uh, so what I've done is I generally like to grind my black cardamom before I add to the, to the oil. Uh, also, I add some cinnamon sticks, which I already have here. Uh, again, these dishes have nutrition value and give aroma and taste um, to the dish as well. Another thing that we like to add are the bay leaves. These give amazing flavor. Once these start kind of, you can feel, you can smell the fragrance and everything else. I like to add some green cardamom. Uh, you can see that I have like whole green cardamom here, but I personally like to roast my green cardamom, make it into a powder, and then use it. So once these dish, once these spices start cooking, and you can smell the aroma of it. I'm just gonna check my stove, that's good. Um, I have some spices sitting here that I haven't used, but because I'm gonna add them later. And I'm gonna add some onions. I personally like to use red onions just because the color and the fragrance that they give to the dish. Oh, my cinnamon stick went flying, so I'm gonna add another one. Pan. So I don't thoroughly cook or wait for the onions to turn completely brown. I just kind of cook them and I don't use all the onions that I cut. So once that's done, I add potatoes. It's just one potato. Okay, so we're just gonna saute our potatoes lightly. Once that's done, I'm gonna add some peas to it, just some green peas. Most of the time people use frozen peas, so what I like to do is either add frozen peas to it, saute it nicely, or I like to Put them in some hot water just leave it so that you know they're fresh and they're soft and then you can just add them back in here not too many i always look at the size of the potato and the onion that i'm using and just add peas accordingly we don't want too many of them floating on our rice once that's done and that's my secret thing that what i do i just add a little bit more onion so that they're not as cooked as the onions that I added before. Okay. Once this is happening, as you can see that I have black cardamom in here, but I like to crush it. I like to make it into a powder and then add it to my dish. I've used two black cardamoms here. Just some, these are not hot peppers, but again, they are peppers, but not as hot as uh, green chilies would end up being. I like to add as many natural flavors as I can rather than adding red pepper and all that stuff to the cooking. So once that's done, another favorite of mine to add uh, to the cooking is garam masala. Garam masala is actually a medley of a lot of these spices that are roasted and then um, ground together to create this beautiful blend. All my masalas are made at home. Uh, I buy the spices, then I toast them, and then I add them to the dish. So here is just some garam masala. Just because it's made at home, it's very potent, so I don't add too much of it. 
I'm just gonna check and make sure that I haven't forgotten anything. And yes, I did. And the most important thing that makes all dishes come together, and that's salt. I personally just like to use pink Himalayan salt rather than white. So, And just as says, you can add a lot of different things to it. There are a lot of different variations to this rice. You can add chicken to it. You can add lamb to it. And basically do whatever you like. It's rice. It's such a bland base that you get that you can add as many ingredients to make whatever you like from it. So it's two bowls of rice. And traditionally with basmati rice, what you do if it's one bowl of rice, so the ratio is one is to two. So if it's one bowl of rice, it's two bowls of water, two bowls of rice, four bowls of water. Just like that, I just kind of mix it very gently so that you don't break the rice. So if you like, you can add red pepper. I'm personally not a big fan, uh, so I don't. But because everybody is eating today, so I think I'm just gonna add a smidge of red pepper. So just gently with a light spoon, Mix everything in. Just gonna wait for this to cook. Um, what I like to add is some saffron. Uh, it gives a beautiful color. It's really good. Has a lot of nutrition value to it as well. And um, it gives a very nice fragrance to the dish as well. So if you'd like to crush it and then add it, you can crush it and then add it. If you'd just like to add the strands as it is, you can do that. Uh, once I add um, the saffron, I don't like to mix my rice too much. I'm just I'm gonna add some red pepper to it and that also just a smidge bit so that I don't make it too hot because I already added some green pepper to this thing. And that's it. That's all this dish entails. Um, I'm just gonna cover it and wait for this to cook. Um, how I like to cook it is everyone does it differently. I like to wait for one boil to come and once that happens, I kind of put it in, on a low medium heat. Halfway through when we have seen most of the water has evaporated, that's when I turn off the stove because rice and all the vegetables together create so much steam that it's gonna cook on its own. Um, and yes, and the dish is ready for you. Thank you.